Refractive error is an optical condition that prevents images from coming to sharp focus on the eye's film, the retina. This impairs distance or near vision and is one of the leading causes for blindness in the developing world. It is a problem that can and must be addressed. In India, close to 200 million people have refractive error. But only 10 to 15 percent of that number have sought remedy. The solution is a pair of spectacles. Simple, straightforward, and effective. But ignorance, poverty, and inaccessibility prove difficult barriers to cross. Inadequate infrastructure on the part of the provider poses further problems. Today we are very ill-prepared if 40% of the population who actually need glasses came knocking on our doors asking for a pair of glass. We don't have the manpower for doing the refraction to find out what prescription they need, nor the capacity to deliver the glasses. And uh, logistically it just won't work if the patient who needs the glass has to travel many, many miles to place the order then return after a few days to get the glasses. With this in mind, two years ago, the Aravind Eye Care System started a three-part strategy to address the problem. Aravind's camp division is the backbone of its outreach programs. With meticulous planning, streamlined procedures and community support, they take Aravind services to the doorstep of those in need. Camp organizers are each assigned areas or districts to work with. Their job is to study maps, population statistics, details of past camps and sponsor lists. Using this data, they then draw up a plan for the entire year. Since its inception, Aravind has been conducting screening eye camps with refraction services. Now, Every year, over 1,500 camps are held, and today, optical dispensing is an integral feature of these camps. Pre-camp publicity is crucial here, and is usually the responsibility of the sponsors. At the camp, each patient follows a standard set of procedures. After registration is preliminary vision testing. Then, a doctor examines the patient and he or she is sent to the refraction division. After refraction, a senior doctor carries out the final examination and writes out a prescription if glasses are required. At these camps, apart from refraction screening, screening for glaucoma, cataract, and other eye conditions also take place. Because of the system's efficiency and careful planning, with five doctors and 12 paramedicals, it's possible to screen a thousand patients in a single day. A corner of the campsite is allocated for the optical dispensing unit. With adequate space, one grinding machine, a frame warmer, portable generator, switchboard, and the necessary marking and cutting instruments, an efficient optical dispensing unit can be set up without compromising quality. The optical unit in a large camp is staffed with two people at the sales desk. They attend to customers and assist in frame selection. After marking pupil position, they hand over to the grinding division. Here, the right lens is chosen, marked, and cut to frame size by one person. Another person is then responsible for edging the lens and fitting it in its frame. Ready-made as well as made-to-order glasses are available at these camps and patients can collect their spectacles half an hour after placing an order. Regular camp review meetings are held each week to discuss the problems and results of these camps and also to plan for the week ahead. Children with refractive error don't always complain of defective vision. This is why school screenings are so important. After identifying a target school, Aravind conducts a special training session for the teachers. 
they are taught to screen students using vision screening cards. At a later date, an ophthalmic assistant from Aravind conducts the second level screening for those students identified with error. After uh, screening by the ophthalmic assistant, a team of uh, doctor and paramedical staff are going to the school to examine the students. They prescribe these spectacles, those who need it. Our optical dispensing unit is also temporarily set up in the premises. The parents are also there. They take a decision to buy these spectacles. The spectacles are delivered on the spot. Unlike cataract, which for the most part affects the elderly, refractive error occurs irrespective of age. The number of people with refractive error in the working population is considerable. And because several occupations are vision dependent, the effect of refractive error on productivity is huge. In order to find out how much it could be, we had done a, a small study in, in a textile mill in Madurai, a company called Majora Coats. Uh, this was supported by an organization in the UK called Adaptive Spectacles. We uh, examined about 200 odd people who were working in the weaving side or in the uh, winding side. And to our surprise, we found that more than 95% of those who needed glasses were not actually wearing them. In fact, almost all of them needed glasses and 90% were not wearing the glasses. Once we gave them the glasses, went back after three or four months. Uh, qualitatively, we found they were happy wearing the glasses. They said they could now watch the TV better, read newspapers. And uh, the productivity had jumped up by 10%. And the feedback that we got both from the personnel department and the textile mill as well as from the individual employee was very encouraging. Then we thought why can't we do it to other textile mills. In all the refractive screening programs conducted by Aravind, three important things are carried out. First is the detection of error. The second is writing of the prescription and the third is on-the-spot delivery of spectacles. But how affordable are these spectacles? In a country like India, it's important to find inexpensive solutions. Glasses provided through these programs cost anywhere upward of 150 rupees, or three US dollars. At these subsidized rates, offered along with free consultation and testing, these glasses become much more accessible and affordable than those obtained through regular means. In some societies, there is a stigma attached to wearing glasses, and to overcome this, it's important to choose an array of frames that will cater to the range of customers you deal with. Customers need to be able to exercise their right to choose in terms of design, quality, and price. From a business perspective, glasses are an interesting commodity. They change the way you look at the world, and to some extent, they change the way you look. The interesting thing is that the, the vanity component of the glass for which they're willing to pay a higher amount can in fact generate a small surplus on every glass that is sold, and that surplus added up across all the orders that you would get from a camp or from an outlet can more than cover the cost of providing those services. So in many ways, this, this is a win-win situation. We can serve the community, have them get rid of refractive errors, and do it in a way it can financially sustain and then carry forward by itself. Much work remains to be done in terms of community awareness and working out the logistics of manpower and infrastructure for effective refractive error services. But this is a problem we have a solution for, which means with planning, commitment, and sustained effort, we can succeed in making the corrections.